right, we should be live here on our YouTube channel. Let me know if you can see our main picture with our two trucks here. Um, should say subscribe right across the bottom there. Let me know. If you can give me a thumbs up, uh, let me know where you're tuning in from. That'd be fantastic. And welcome to our Tuesday edition of our Q&A. All right. Hopefully we are live and kicking here. Make sure that you guys can see us. Hey, Amy. So I'm hoping you can hear me. No guarantees on seeing yet. Let's see if we can get that going. <laughs> That's usually about right. We're all used to that. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Awesome, awesome. So we are talking about, um, if you joined us yesterday during our Facebook Live, which we do every Monday at 4 p.m. Central, if you joined us yesterday, we were discussing our orientation, orientation schedule, um, what that consists of, and um, you know what the steps are to get into orientation. So if you guys have any questions for me at all, please let me know. You can reach us at 888-668-0698. And we'll put that uh, in the chat there for you. And then, of course, uh, you can apply online. If you're not already with Decker and you're interested in coming aboard, um, you can apply online at drivedecker.com. And in the upper right-hand corner, it says apply now. You can do that right there. Um, let's see. I've got new pop-ups coming up here. I'm trying to figure out what those are. We'll see. All right. Cool beans. So, Amy, we got you. Patrick, good to see you all as well. Where are you at today, Patrick? And Howard, near Fort Dodge, there you go. Hey, uh, Howard, uh, what's the status? I didn't double check. Um, I know that they were looking into making some changes there for your truck, um, getting you back into uh, a newer model. Let me know, please. Cool, because after after we discussed, or I think it was, was it Tuesday that you were, were on here? Um, I don't think it was Monday, but after we were talking, I went and talked to a couple people too, so. Um. <laughs> All right, cool. Anyways, uh, we're talking about the orientation process and what that all entails. So um, before we jump in, I do wanna remind you that obviously you need to qualify for orientation. If you are talking to drivers and you're a current driver here for Decker Truck Line um, and you're looking at referrals, possibly increasing your income with referrals, that actually can be a pretty lucrative side gig there for you. Um, it can work pretty well for you. Anyways, with that in mind, we pay $1,500 to $2,500 per driver that you refer, and it pays out within a 90-day period. So the how you get to $2,500 is basically the more drivers that you refer within 2020, you'll be getting paid more per driver. So the first three are at $1,500, um, again, paid within 90 days. And then um, four and five drivers that are referred will be paid out at $2,000, paid within 90 days, and $2,500 for six or more drivers that you refer within 2020. Um, again, paid out within 90 days. So last year, Jesse actually was our top refer uh, for the short time that he's been here. Um, he now, he's doing a fantastic job. Continue that, Jess. We, we appreciate it. Continue doing all that hard work. Um, but and I know you don't have a whole lot to say whether or not somebody qualifies or not. So here are some of the answers to the questions that you might run into if you're talking to somebody out on the road and, and they're questioning you, giving you the, trying to find out a little bit more about Decker and what we have. So here's the basics. Um, obviously, get a hold of the recruiter if you have any questions. Guide them over to the recruiter. Use your Transflow app um, because they're going to be able to answer the questions more thoroughly then you know obviously you're going to be able to answer them on a hands-on as a driver view but whether or not they're within the hiring area and meet the qualifications that'd be us so um that being said minimum qualifications we require a minimum of three months of over the road tractor trailer experience so if you are um, looking for refrigerated and van or even our midwest flatbed that's what you're looking at three months of tractor trailer experience over the road now we can train in flatbed. So if you don't have flatbed experience, no worries, we'll train you. We do the tarping and securement training. We, I mean, Tanner does the tarping and securement training and he'll walk you through all that. 
Um, following this video, you will see um, we'll have a follow up for our um, training video of, of tanners to, to follow up on that. Anyways, um, if you're looking for our over the road flatbed that's based out of Bessemer, Alabama, looking for some good miles and constant constant miles and, and good pay, then you're going to be looking at six months of over the road tractor trailer experience that we need before we can get you into that division. And remember, we've got the securement and tarp training, so no worries about that. It's the tractor trailer experience that we're more concerned with right up front. Um, all right, so let's dig in here and see what I've got here. So, um, Howard, you are on the way to Missoula now for that. Awesome. I knew Jason was taking care of that for you, so that's fantastic. I just wasn't sure where in the process it was. Excellent. Um, let me know on how that goes, too. I want to get a, a view of it. So, Patrick says on I-80, oh, for now, Nevada. I was like, what does that say? Too far away. I might need glasses. <laughs> Uh, Fernley, there we go. Um, and a reminder, Midwest flatbed and our refrigerated divisions do require three months. Yes, three months of experience. A verifiable, you know, and of course that needs to be recent experience. So if it is 10 years old and that's all the experience you have, we're going to need a refresher course. We're going to need some recent experience to get you rolling. Okay. Six months for our flatbed divisions out of uh, Bessemer, Alabama. Um, all right. That being said, other qualifications that we are looking at, we need one year, or excuse me, one year, we need clean driving records for the last three years. So no major moving violations. I can't work with anything that's a 15 over speeding ticket or a careless, reckless, um, other moving violations, um, following too close, erratic lane change, uh, using a mobile phone or using a cellular device or wireless or whatever. I mean, it, it can be under many different things, distracted driving, but those are major moving violations that we can't work with if it's within the last three years. Even just that one ticket can, uh, can disqualify you, so know that ahead of time. Um, if the rest of your record is clean um, and the year, you know, that's pushing three years old, let's take a look at it, but I, you know, with the regular guidelines, black and white, we can't work with it. Um, also, for that, keeping that in mind, when it comes to DOT accidents, DOT preventable accidents, we can't work with those within the last three years either. So if you have any of those major moving violations or major accidents or incidents, let us know, or just know, I guess I should say, that we can't work with them within the last three years. Now, if you have any question whatsoever, if we can work with it, then get a hold of us. Again, that number is 888. 668-0698. I think I've got it on the bottom here. And then you can apply online at drivedecker.com as well to get uh, more details on that. So that's just the basics there on our orientation or our um, hiring requirements so that you know. And obviously we can work with incidents or, or minor accidents. They're really going to fall into the same lump. You know, whether it's an accident or an incident, it's going to be considered an accident. Um, and that could be, you know, if a if you're recently got written up for an accident of, or incident, of driving on someone's property, um, you know, ruining their landscaping or hitting a, a stone rock or something like that, um, that the company, your current company, had to pay for, that's still considered an accident. But, so that's going to be needed, on, needed to be put on your application. But that doesn't mean that we can't work with it. It just means that it's listed as an accident. The ones we can't work with are the DOT recordable ones. So that's going to be deemed DOT recordable if there was an injury, if someone was towed, if the amount is exceeds, I think if the amount exceeds 15,000, it could be less than that too. It just is more based off of the insurance company. Um, so injuries, fatalities, towing, and um, the amount that the accident accumulated to. So questions on that, let me know. We can work with ages 21 and up, as long as you have that minimum experience and a clean driving record. So that's that's perfect. Um, again, if you need, if you have any questions whatsoever, you can uh, directly ask them here on our YouTube channel and within the chat. Um, we'll watch the replays as well, so we'll keep the chat going there if you need to. And then if you want to get a hold of us on our Facebook channel, you can go to facebook.com backslash DTL Inc message us, private message us, and we'll get to you on whether or not we can work with that ticket or moving violation or accident or whatever it is. All right, this is speed round. But that's the basic for the 
experience and whatnot. Now, with orientation, first, you obviously, you've got to qualify. We do a pretty thorough job of getting someone qualified for orientation, you know, ahead of time so that you're not coming, you know, blinded. We're, you're, you're coming aboard knowing that everything's going to be looking good. Um, the only things that you're going to need to pass are your physical, your drug tests, um, your PCE, you know, I mean, it's still a job interview when you come into orientation. So you still want to represent yourself well, as always, we always want to, but um, it's, when it comes to background and stuff, we are we do all of that work ahead of time. So you're coming in knowing that unless something is going to pop up later on, you know, that we don't have a verification back from somebody yet, um, and they're just taking a little bit longer, and you have you know about a DOT recordable accent, which you would know if you had one, um, then those really everything is going to be taken care of before you come aboard. We want to avoid any any you know um, confusion or anything that's just wasted time for you we don't want to do that we want to take care of everything up front so that being said when you're coming aboard to orientation we're going to get you some transportation orientations in Fort Dodge are usually on Mondays so they start on Mondays it's a week long you're usually dispatched out come Friday if you're looking at orientation in Bessemer Alabama which is our second location for orientation we do that on Mondays and we do that on Thursdays, but they rotate. So get a hold of us on the schedule so that we can keep you informed. And they will, they adjust uh, according to, you know, with holidays coming in and um, or just holidays leaving at this point, they, they will change. So that being said, um, Mondays and every other Mondays about and every other Thursdays approximately for orientation at Bessemer. Bessemer is designed more for inexperienced flatbed drivers. So it's a little bit longer of an orientation, which gives you more time, hands-on time, for the securement and tarp training. Now for, for the Fort Dodge terminal, Tanner's there to do more hands-on for the tarp training uh, there for flatbed as well. But it is a five-day orientation total versus a nine to 10 day out of Bessemer, okay? But for the most part, um, orientation out of Fort Dodge, you're looking at a five-day schedule Monday, you're going to start off with your PCE, which is physical capacity evaluation test. And that's like range of motion, resistance. Um, it's going to, you know, basically that it's going to test your resistance and your, your power on that. Um, you'll have your physical as well. That's usually, yeah, usually in the morning um, after the PCE test. So, um, and then after that, you've got your, your drug test. So we do both the hair follicle and the urinalysis for the drug testing. If you guys have any questions on that, let us know. Um, I know sometimes people are asking, you know, for the hair follicle, how much do you take and um, how far do you go back? You know what, if the the testing that you take, it's really the size of a, um, this is not a, oh, it is a number two pencil. So a number two pencil eraser, that's about the amount that you're looking at for um, the hair that'll be tested. And then it goes back approximately 90 days, so about a quarter of an inch. Everybody's hair grows a little bit different, um, you know, in speed. Some people just, they just don't grow. Um, so obviously that's gonna, that time frame is going to be adjusted depending on the individual. So it's about a quarter of an inch that um, they'll go back for testing. Okay, I any questions on that, let us know and we'll answer. There are alternatives. Um, the fingernails and um, arm hair, chest hair, you know, things like that. But ideally, ideally um, from your head, so uh, for the hair follicle. Uh, what am I missing here? Howard says he's gonna get us a new picture. Awesome, that's what we wanna see. Um, Patrick says, when, he goes, I wasn't, I wasn't too thrilled about the Epic View when it was first announced. However, now that I have it installed, it really does come in handy. Uh, when I get hung out at the shipper receiver. Yes, a little bit of time to, when you have a little bit of time to kill, it, it is nice. Plus, you know, with the Epic View, for all of you who don't know what Epic View is, that is our satellite TV and programming, and that's installed in all of our trucks. Um, actually, it's installed in most of our trucks right now. We will have it in all of our trucks um, here shortly. So by the end of the first quarter, we expect to have 100%. Uh, last I checked, we were at about 90%. But Patrick, good. I'm glad you got you finally have it. And um, it also, along with installing the Epic View, we also installed microwaves. 
So these trucks are ridiculously fully loaded. Um, I just realized that my screen is frozen. So um, bear with me here. Let's see if I can fix that. Maybe, maybe not. We'll do this in the meantime. Um, so yes, we do have um, our trucks are, are fully loaded. The Epic View is the satellite TV. Um, it comes with a variety of things actually. So you've got the ability to um, download or to record, I guess, uh, videos. If you are driving that time, um, use the so Super Bowl for example. So say you're on the road and you weren't able to watch the Super Bowl because you had to deliver a load or you were trying to get there on time. Um, but you, of course you didn't want to miss it. So you can schedule for um, that to record, so it's an in-motion recording um, that you can have access to, and that's pretty darn handy uh, when you, you know, when you're scheduling your loads and stuff, and you don't want to be late for any of your deliveries. You have that have access to that. So let's see. Sorry, sound effects, but I just realized I didn't have everything in order. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, yes, Howard, she does have a new picture on the side. I noticed that just a minute ago, too. <laughs> Blush. New pictures of the truck. Yes, okay, good. Because I wanted that, too. Um, all right, so that's what Epic View is. So Epic View is the satellite TV um, and the programming. It's over 100 plus channels. And you're looking at uh, Showtime and Cinemax and HBO and the Sunday Ticket along with you've got access to local channels. If you guys are having troubles trying to access some of that, we do have a PDF that'll be helpful. Plus it's got the channel listings and stuff on it too. Um, Anna, if you didn't already, can you post that for us so that uh, everybody has, a, has access to that link so if they need it, they can find it, if you would please. So Anna's, if you guys don't already know, but Anna's in my chat here and she's taking good care of everybody. Um, so if you have any questions, obviously as I answer it, she will, she's doing the same. As well as the Epic View and the TV that's in the truck, we've got microwaves, we've got refrigerators, bunk heaters, CB units, navigation, Sirius radio. Now uh, navigation right now is the Omnitrax, um, the Sirius radio, all of the equipment's there, but you are still responsible for the subscription. Um, the monthly subscription. However, we talked about that referral bonus earlier. I only mentioned the monetary amounts, well, some of the monetary amounts for the referral bonus. There's a lot more to it. You can actually check out some of our videos on the referral bonus, and we'll be talking about it in one of our next lives as well. But uh, you can check out more details about the referral bonus um, on how it pays out, what all the other incentives are. One of them, though, is the Sirius Radio for a year. So if you refer two or more drivers, Within 2020, you get Sears Radio for 12 months. So that was the other thing I wanted to mention. Um, where else? We've got, uh, did I say CB units, navigation? We've got the smart drive system in the trucks. So the smart drive has a whole lot of features to it. It does have the lane departure, the, the, um, the following distance indicator. It has um, the inward and outward facing event controllers. So a lot of features to that smart drive system. With the Smart Drive system, we have included an additional bonus, monthly bonus. So if you guys aren't already aware of that, it did roll out uh, the first of the year. And that referral, or the, excuse me, not referral, but that bonus, that Smart Drive bonus, is an extra penny per mile for all the miles that you run. If you've got the inward facing event recorders on and your score is 20 or more, or 20 or less, 20 or less for the Smart Drive score. So um, if you have any questions on your smart drive score, I'm pretty sure that you can access that through the TransFlow. I know not everybody was able to uh, with our new TransFlow app, but it should be updated enough. If you're having any problems with it, you might need to delete it off your phone and or uninstall and re reinstall it. So we've seen some success with that, but that's unveiled as well. Um, but we still have our scorecard bonus, which is the, uh, the other bonus that we have that's a four cent a mile. Uh, bonus that you can get every month as well. Okay, I keep veering off because I want to get make sure that I tell you more about the orientation process and what that entails. So again, for Monday, you're going to go through some of the, the history and stuff of Decker. 
Um, you'll have your PCEs, your physicals, your hair follicle and drug tests, uh, hair follicle, your analysis. You'll have lunch, you know, we, we either bring lunch in or we take you out, um, but you'll have a, a good lunch every day. Breakfast is at the hotel and meals, like your dinner, is available. Um, you'll have a, a meal ticket to go get something to eat at a nearby uh, restaurant to, nearby to the hotel uh, when, you're, when you're here for orientation. So meals are taken care of. Um, you'll have additional paperwork, insurance. Uh, we want you to make sure that you're bringing your social security number along with your birth certificate for the hiring process, but also your social security number, birth, uh, date of birth for anybody that's going to be on your insurance. So we, your spouse, dependents, you know, the, yours, that'll, that information is going to be needed for the insurance. So make sure that you bring that. And yes, our insurance starts at 90 days, but we want to make sure that you get that taken care of before you get on the road. Because you know how things, you know, once you get on the road, you are busy, you are working hard, and it just, it takes a little bit more effort to get that kind of stuff done. And it's a lot easier just to take care of it ahead of time and not have to worry about it and then have to fumble through and, and um, not have the help to get through uh, filling out that paperwork uh, on your own. So that's what we do usually after lunch on Mondays. Uh, we'll, we'll have you talk to the retention manager as well. Now the retention manager um, in Fort Dodge is Darren and Darren's gonna walk through an expectation form with you. Now the expectation form, you've, if you've already spoke to a recruiter, you already know what it is probably. But the expectation form is really just a understanding of what it is that you are wanting out of Decker, what you're expecting from Decker. And uh, we're talking about miles, we're talking about home time, um, what you're needing to bring home, you know, gross and net for the week. Um, making sure that you have all the details of what the trucks are, in, you know, what all of the amenities in the truck are, uh, including the APU and the refrigerator and the bunk heater and the Epic View and microwave and all that good stuff, as well as the smart drive, um, making sure that you're aware of both the hair follicle and the drug or in the urinalysis drug test that we, we do that during orientation. Um, and what else? Um, and then the, there's also a repayment agreement. So the repayment agreement is just basically, it's an understanding that Decker has invested in you. This is the amount that we've invested in you. I mean, and really it's just the, the hotel and the orientation expense for investment. And we have you recognize if you were to leave within the first six months that you could be responsible for a portion of it. Every month we knock a hundred bucks off and come six months we just wave it, you know, we wipe it clean. But we do have that responsibility in case, um, you know, if, you, if you're not a good fit. But that's why we do all of this ahead of time, making sure that we go through the expectation form and that what you're looking for, what you're expecting is going to be what we can provide. But we like that expectation form to kind of follow you along through the orientation process so that when it gets to your fleet manager, you don't have to repeat everything all over. They have a really good understanding of what it is that you're looking for. So they've got that in front of them when they're talking to you come Thursday, uh, Thursday or Friday, and you're, you know, you're discussing, you're on the same, same train, you know, you're, you guys are going down the same path and making sure that the communications is really good. Communication is really good between the two of you. So anyways, the retention manager, who in this case will be Darren um, in Fort Dodge, he's going to go through that expectation form with you. So it's all a, a good understanding and it'll continue to follow you and, and make sure that we're gonna do our best to reach your, your goals on that. Um, and then the repayment agreement, if you have any questions on that, again, get a hold of the recruiter at 888-668-0698. But it's really just an acknowledgement that yes, Decker has put this much money into me for orientation and I'll be responsible for a portion if I decide that I'm not a good fit within the first six months. Um, so Wyatt has popped on. Good, excuse my tardiness. Excused you are. <laughs> All right, um, the current sign-on bonus. So Howard's asking about the current sign-on bonus. That is going to affect um, the Missoula terminal. Uh, so our over-the-road refrigerated, it's gonna affect our Midwest, uh, Midwest flatbed and Midwest refrigerated, so out on a weekly basis, and our over-the-road flatbed based out of Bessemer, Alabama. It's $2,500 for the current sign-on bonus. It pays out with on your one-year anniversary, and if you're flatbed, we expect 100,000 miles on your, by your one-year anniversary. 
uh, for that payout. And the minimum requirement for refrigerated and van is going to be 110,000 miles in your by your one year anniversary to get that. And again, it pays all at once on your one year anniversary. So one lump sum that you'll get that. Um, great question, Howard. Thanks for, for the question. Orientation pay, however, is $900. It's a $100 Visa gift card plus $800, two installments of $400 to get to that remaining $800. And uh, the first $400 is gonna be direct deposit, or excuse me, the last $400 is gonna be direct deposit. The first $400 is gonna be handed to you along with the $100 Visa gift card on Friday, and it's gonna be on a comm check so that you can go cash it right away as soon as you're done with orientation. Um, Howard, that changed about a year ago for the, the sign-on bonus. Uh, he was asking when that changed. Okay, figure you put that, put that together. <laughs> so after lunch on Monday, yes, you'll have the paperwork and the insurance. You'll talk to um, Darren in for, for Dodge. Uh, the retention manager to go over your expectation form um, you have a little bit of homework you know kind of catch up on everything there um, you'll have the the security test the truck driver security test your security and, and cargo for hazmat if you've got a hazmat um, and then hours of service testing that'll be going through um, during your monday orientation now i did mention the the hazmat security and cargo test but do know that we do not require a hazmat. If you have it, awesome, and then we'll be taking it, but we don't require hazmat on the loads. If you have hazmat, we do pay extra for any hazmat loads that you get on. We don't do a ton of hazmat, so there you go. Um, now, then, like I said, for Monday night, you'll have a meal ticket, go grab yourself something to eat, be easy, relax, enjoy the evening. Um, Tuesday, we'll start again. Um, I should backpedal. Monday, when you start orientation, you'll meet down in the lobby at about 6.45 a.m. At seven o'clock is when we're gonna basically start orientation, but at 6.45, we're gonna to need to go drop off the rental cars, fill them up, drop them off, and then bring you back to the terminal to get you started for orientation. Now, on Tuesday, you're gonna start about seven o'clock, bring you over, we'll have the shuttle bring you from the hotel to the terminal to get you started right away. And we're gonna start with the pre-tripping. So you'll go over pre-trip pre inspections within the classroom, going through the process. There's a whole checklist that you'll be going through. And if you want access to that checklist, you can actually go to drivedecker.com, which is our blog, drivedecker.com backslash blog. And the, all the, the checklists are there for refrigerated and flatbed as well. So refrigerated van and flatbed. Um, so you'll go through the, the pre-trip inspection in the classroom and then following that you'll go through it outside all hands-on making sure that you're real thorough with it and you have the understanding of the importance why we do the pre-trip which maintenance is a huge deal and your safety obviously is number one so making sure that that is all taken care of right out of the gate and then following all of that following the pre-trip making sure that you have a good understanding we're going to do the road test road test hey do not forget <laughs> you need to know how to do the pre-trip so don't forget to start your road test with a proper pre-trip. The road test itself is about 30 to 45 minutes, you know, give or take a little bit of time on each side of that. And it does tend to be a little bit longer for newer drivers than more experienced drivers. And that's, I mean, that's just kind of a given because it isn't gonna take the um, more experienced drivers as much time to get into areas, you know, backing, because we are working on proper backing. Uh, it's probably not gonna take you as long to get into those situations, to get in and out. So um, that's what we're gonna be talking about. Pre-trip pre inspection, um, proper backing, uh, get out and look, making sure that when you do proper backing, the goal is uh, to make sure that you get out and look. Um, it's a huge number one way to start. We're also going to be taking a look at your habits, uh, your driving habits, if you're impeding traffic, if you're giving yourself enough time, that you're not tailgating, your following distance is a comfortable level. Those are all things that are measured during this on the smart drive system in your truck, but those are all things that we wanna know how you're driving ahead of time. So if we feel that you need to go out with a trainer to make sure that we can increase your following distance and that you're, you're driving safe, we can take care of that right away. Um, button hooks, making sure that you know how to do a proper button hook. You can make that, that right turn just carefully. You know, no running into cars or, or taking out poles or anything like that. We want to make sure you know how to do a proper button hook. And again, during that evaluation, if we decide that you need to 
go out with a trainer, um, then you can go out with a trainer anywhere from three to five weeks. We pay you $500 a week to go with a trainer, um, but that's what we're trying to make sure that you, you meet the expectations before we, we send you out solo. Howard says, how do you find out how many miles we've driven for the year or whom do we talk to about that? You should be able to talk to your driver manager about that, but that's something that I can help look up for you as well. And uh, your driver manager, uh, Morgan is another one, but we can get that information to you. Uh, the other person would be Darren or Jason, um, so our driver retention managers can do that for you as well. Cool. So that's Tuesday morning. That's basically Tuesday morning. Tuesday lunch. So I think this is pretty special. Our Tuesday lunch is usually in the main building um, at the Fort Dodge Terminal. And that is more of a potluck style, um, more of a potluck style lunch. Now we don't require you to contribute to that potluck except for your glowing personality and a little bit of entertainment there for us. Uh, visiting with your fleet managers, visiting with management, um, all the different departments, they like to kind of join in there on Tuesday and you can, um, you, you'll get to join in as well. So it's a good time to, to get to know everybody. You can sit with your recruiter, um, have a conversation with them. Um, but it's, you know, Tuesday is a really special day for, for lunch. So following the Tuesday lunch, you'll, have, you'll go back out and continue with the road test for those of you who haven't finished the road test. And then following all of that, we'll, we'll work over the logbooks. Now, like I said before, we're, we're using the Qualcomm system, the Omnitrax and the ELD. So if you have any questions whatsoever, we do have some cheat sheets to help you learn the process, you know, the easy go-to resources available to you. You can access those on our blog. Um, I think Anna might be, if she hasn't already, put the link in there for you as well so that you have all of that. So Patrick says, Yes, Howard, uh, your DM has that info. So uh, someone may have already looked into that for himself. <laughs> all right, so the logbooks, those are all going to be um, usually Tuesday afternoon. So that's, uh, that's the start of orientation. Now, remember I said that you do get a $100 Visa gift card. That Visa gift card is going to be paid out to you. Um, now, we've done it anywhere from Wednesday to Friday. I think last week it was Friday that everybody got their, their Visa gift card, and that came... Um, oh, thanks, Anna. There you go. So all drivers, if you want to do the Transflow app, um, she's got the number there for you as well because that's our branded, our Decker uh, brand Transflow app. Anyways, for that that um, Visa gift card, that's going to be handed to you, you know, by Friday at least. And then you'll also have the first $400 of the $800 handed to you on a comp check so that you can go cash that and put that away. Um, Wednesday, we're going to start Wednesday orientation. Don't forget to get your breakfast at the hotel and then following, you know, arriving in orientation on Wednesday, you'll go over a lot of the policies and procedures. So getting your paperwork in, um, again, that's going to be part of the Qualcomm system, but getting your paperwork in, who to contact for what, uh, maintenance policies, uh, you have the dog policy. The dog policy is one dog is allowed. Um, it's $750 for the deposit. $100 down before your dog can come in. And of course, we're going to need your shot, the well, your dog shot records, as well as a picture of your of your dog before they can ride along with and making sure that HR has signed off on that for you. Uh, once that's approved, now 250 of that 750 is non-refundable because that goes towards the cleaning. Um, if, say you go into a different truck or something, but that goes towards the cleaning. Um, otherwise, it's the $750 deposit, $100 down. And so that should cover most anything for the dog policy. Rider policy, it's $25 a month, ages 10 to 69, and available after 90 days. So that's the, the rider policy that we have available as well. But you'll go over additional policies and procedures, and you'll know all the steps. And like Howard mentioned, you know, how do we know our miles and whatnot? That's another thing that we'll go over during orientation. But we know that there's a lot of information that you're receiving during orientation in such a short amount of time. So with that given, you will have access to a whole lot of the information, not only through your DM, but also on our intranet. And we'll try to continue to keep you updated with these type of videos on our YouTube channel, as well as our Facebook channel. So make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of that information. And then of course, follow us on our Facebook channel and you'll be able to um, get notifications. If you click on the follow or whatever and, and notify, we'll notify you every time we go live, every time we get updates for you. Um, but the policies and procedures, we do email some of that information out to you too. So try not to 
overwhelm you with emails, but making sure that the communication lines are open and available to you. So again, if you have any additional questions on that, let us know. The Transflow app is yet another awesome resource. We're going to provide training on that. There's Well, there is training on our YouTube channel if you haven't already seen it, but there's training within the app itself. You can go in and get training videos um, and the flatbed terminal flatbed training is on there as well as the smart drive training and a couple of others if you have questions on that. Um, but yes, that transfer app is a handy little thing to have. Now also with Wednesday, we'll go over some of the load securement. Uh, we talk about it in the house. You'll, you'll be sitting in the classroom talking about it, but then you'll go and do it hands-on. So you'll have the hands-on training as well. So whether you're securing a refrigerated load um, or you're your tarping and securing for flatbed, that'll all be taken care of as well. <laughs> That's how it's proprietary. proprietary. That's right. Um, Wednesday, you'll have lunch. We'll either bring it in or, or take you out for that. Uh, so we'll take care of your lunch as well. And then following lunch on Wednesday, we'll have the Smart Drive session. Now, Smart Drive, like I said, that is one of our safety features, a very large safety feature that's here within um, each of our Decker trucks. So all of the equipment are supplied with that. It does give following distance, lane departure, has the inward and outward facing event controllers. It has just lots of features to it. And if you have questions on it, we do have a video as well in our YouTube channel that you can access that'll give you a whole lot of information on that. But in addition to that, it's there's gonna be Patrice in there. I think there's also a video available to you on our YouTube channel of Patrice going through the presentation and explaining to you what the smart drive is and how it can affect you and how it can help to improve some of your driving habits. Like it's helped a lot of our veteran drivers, not only veteran drivers, but new drivers of course as well. Um, but just the hands behind the wheel are gonna help some of our newer drivers. But the smart drive system, um, that whole presentation is put on by Patrice, goes into a lot of detail. I love it if you just ask him a whole bunch of questions. He's, a, he's full of a lot of information on that and um, it just gives you a better understanding of what the smart drive system does and how it can benefit you. Now don't forget, we do have that bonus that can get you an extra penny per mile on all the miles that you run for the month if your score is 20 or below. And it's awesome to see everybody that's 20 or below. Last month when, let's see, I think it was on the 20th, 23rd maybe, that we were talking, we had 285 drivers that were at a score of zero. So that bonus is most definitely doable and uh, we're seeing more and more of that. So that was at a zero for a score and you just needed to be 20 or below. So we have guys that are that are on that. So yes, awesome. We love to see the bonuses, we love to pay them out because it just means that everybody's doing a superb job. So continue that. After the smart drive system, you'll, uh, the presentation, excuse me, you'll get a, you'll get to visit with uh, Tim Burns with finances and operations, Michael Errett, uh, Rick George or with our safety. So this is just kind of going through the line here of Wednesday afternoon. Um, so once Rick George go over a lot of the safety, um, CSA, things like that. On um, Wednesday afternoon, you'll also get, you'll also meet with Wells Fargo who does our 401k. Now you have the option to contribute to a 401k, which has a 30% match. And if you have questions on that, let us know. We have a number directly to Wells Fargo um, to get you more information on that and to make any adjustments if you want. I think you're automatically at 2%, but you can go up to 8% of your total contributions, but it's a 30% match. Um, app corrections, if we need to make any additions or, or fix any of the dates, when once we get the employment verifications back, like I said, we like to do all that ahead of time, but sometimes we need to have a new signature in order to update the application. And so that's when it that's when it would come into back into your hands, have you take care of that. Um, and, and if there was an accident or incident that came up that you weren't aware of that needed to be added to your application, that again, that would be uh, taken care of at that time. Something that you probably already know by the time you come in, but it's uh, it needs to be added to be compliant with DOT. Um, when you're done on, on Wednesday, we'll give you another meal ticket, have you go back to the hotel, relax for the evening. Thursday, start again at 7 a.m., go through a lot of the safety features, going through um, safety details, knowing you know how to improve your safety and how our safety works here within uh, the departments itself. We'll go through the Transflow app. Again, we discussed the Transflow app and all the benefits that it has. You've got your scorecard available on there, uh, which gives your scorecard bonus. Um, you can access a lot of the trainings on there. 
you can get your paperwork in. So for the billing department or for, to, for payroll and whatnot, you can get your settlements in there, but you can scan your documents to get them to billing and uh, take care of that as well. So there's a lot of features on the Transflow app that you can take advantage of. Um, also to get your paperwork in, we do have the onboard scanners in the truck. It's another option, although I do know that most people do use the Transflow app for the you know, preferred, preferred method, I guess. Now cover sheets, we'll go through the cover sheets and what you'll need in order to get that over to uh, billing as well. So the cover sheets, you're gonna go through that on Thursday, Thursday morning about, I think, yeah. Um, the Qualcomm unit using the Qualcomm system, uh, you'll have the hands-on, you know, just dive right in, know how to use it properly. I do know that it's going to take a little bit of hands-on training if the Qualcomm system is brand new to you or if you've used an, an older version. So it might take a little bit of hands-on training, a little bit of trial and error. That's okay. We do have the little cheat sheets or the manuals to help you walk through and know this is how you do it in these certain situations. So it'll be a lot easier for you to, to go through and, and make changes if you need to, um, or just you know doing the step-by-step. -step. You'll be testing the Qualcomm. Um, you'll be knowing how to use the Way My Truck app um, for scaling your loads. You'll go through the reefer test, uh, the refrigerated unit and everything. So all of that's gonna be on Thursday morning. You'll meet with your fleet managers. If you haven't already met with them, you'll meet with your fleet managers at lunch on Thursday. Sit down and have lunch with them. Again, this is a great time for you guys to get to know each other. Go over your expectation form, which I mentioned earlier would be you, you start basically orientation, going through your uh, expectation form with the retention manager. Well, now you're gonna go through that same form with your fleet manager. And it's not necessarily going through the same old stuff, but for your fleet manager to really absorb the information that you've given the recruiter that was then passed on to the retention manager to make sure that we're able to meet the expectations and the goals that you have. So if, again, if you have any questions about the expectation form, let us know, but it's definitely designed to make sure that we are able to uh, uphold all of your goals there. Um, well, once you've met with your fleet manager, lunch is over, you've enjoyed the visit, you get to go, um, Go over safety, the fueling, um, the proper fuel um, compliance, um, what that process is, why we have to have the fuel compliance, why it's so important, uh, the fuel efficiency itself. And then you'll also talk with the shop. Uh, the shop will go through a lot of the details, how you're going to communicate with the shop and keep the maintenance up on your truck because maintenance, proper maintenance on your truck is going to keep you safe and as always, safety is first. So making sure that that is taken care of and that you've got the good communications there. Um, go back. That's the end of Thursday. Thursday, you're going to relax. And Friday, you're going to get dispatched out. So you'll get your check for the first installment of your uh, $800 on the comp check. So that's $400. Plus, you'll get your Visa gift card. So you have your $500 there, um, cash in hand. We'll go over the APU unit, uh, the transmissions, the braking videos, all of that so you know how to properly uh, work the APU, how to you know what how the transmission works, um, you know all all of the details there that you might need to refer back to, but you'll have access to those videos, and those are all going to be available also on your Transflow app. But you'll go through all of those, um, watch that kind of stuff. You'll have a survey of telling us where we need to improve within orientation and what we've done well and we need to continue to do. Um, so we'll have a, you do a survey if you'll take the time to do that. It most definitely helps us to stay in line with what you guys need from us. And remember, we're your support system. And we're back here. We're supposed to be doing everything to make your life easier because you're getting the job done and we want to continue to um, encourage that. So, and then you'll be assigned to your truck. Get in your truck, get your truck situated, and get dispatched out. Put you to work, right? It's what you've been waiting for this whole time anyway. So that is our orientation process. Now in Bessemer, Alabama, it's going to be a little bit different. The difference in Bessemer is that it's going to be more hands-on training for the tarping and securement training. So that's going to last a little bit longer um, than the actual um, orientation in Fort Dodge. So more hands-on deck in Fort Dodge and then in Bessemer, um, a little bit more time in with the policies and procedures and most definitely with the hands-on training. So, and just because we do require six months of over the road tractor trailer experience, the training is on the securement and the tarping, not necessarily on the driving skills and abilities there. However, those are 
you know, are definitely evaluated when you're in orientation by the trainer, the lead trainer. So, do you guys have any questions on the process in any of them? In both locations, it's $900 of $900 for orientation, um, so $800 plus the Visa gift card, $100 Visa gift card. And your meals and everything are taken care of in both cases. No? All right, so as long as we're good, we'll keep going. Um, I wanted to give you a little bit of detail on some of the positions that we have available. I was just speaking to somebody a few minutes ago, about well, an hour ago, <laughs> about our uh, dedicated position that runs from Fort Dodge to Blair, Nebraska. As of right now, it is still available if that's something you're interested in. It is a hopper bottom position. So it is our only a hopper bottom position that we have. And it runs, this position specifically, is an 11 p.m. shift. So it's definitely night driving. 11 p.m. shift and you're going to be running basically from Fort Dodge to Blair, Nebraska and back. So it's about an eight hour shift total unless you need to get a backhaul. Um, and then it could be a little bit longer. And we rotate those backhauls uh, amongst the, the four drivers on that shift. So 11 p.m. shift, and um, it pays $2.50 for Monday through Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday, it's $2.75 per shift. So let me explain more on how that shift works and how the rotation works, because it's a, a little bit different. It's basically two days on and then two days off. And then you'll have three days on and then three days off, and then back to the two on, two off, three on, three off. So what does that mean? That means that every other weekend, you have a three-day weekend. You have a Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. So every other weekend, um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, but two on, two off, and it's nice because then on your off days, you're not always off every single weekend, which means that during the week, you can get some of the stuff done as well. But if you have any questions on how that pays out, how the schedule is, what all it entails, feel free to ask. It's 888-668-0698. That's the telephone number to the recruiters. And then of course you can apply online if that's what you want is drivedecker.com. If you know the position that you're wanting, go ahead and, and apply online. And also if you don't know the, the position, but you wanna know what's available in your area, applying online can definitely help or just reaching out to one of the recruiters or getting a hold of us on Facebook or YouTube That'll work too. Okay, um, so what else for that one? Don't forget it's two on, two off, three on, three off. So if you are working, if it is the, the weekend that you're working, remember Saturday and Sunday pay 275 per shift instead of the 250, which you're getting during the week. So you do get paid a little bit extra for working the weekends, extra 25 bucks each day, right? Okay, cool. Now we do have other options, obviously, the over the road refrigerated out of Missoula, Montana going to get you great miles, a great length of haul, um, and consistency. So if you're running, if you like to run west of the Mississippi, the majority of those runs are west and midwest. So absolutely, that's a good call for you. It is a coast to coast position, but like I said, the majority are, are uh, west of the Mississippi. And for the most part in that division, we can get people home every two to three weeks, but it's all based off of the hiring area. So you want to make sure that we do have something available in your hiring area. Feel free to leave your zip code in the comments here and we'll uh, tell you whether or not we've got something available. You can also get a hold of us, like I said, by at 888-668-0698. And we can, uh, let's give you that number here because that would probably be helpful. So again, 888-668-0698 um, to get a hold of us or, or drivedecker.com to get that application in. Um, so over the road flatbed based out of Bessemer, Alabama, we've got some great length of haul on that one too. That one runs coast to coast, but the majority of it's going to be in the southeast from Texas to the Carolinas, as well as the Midwest. So a lot of Illinois, Iowa, Indiana, Wisconsin, um, a lot of freight up in the upper Midwest as well for that uh, over the road flatbed based out of Bessemer, Alabama. Now, if you live in parts of Alabama and parts of Georgia, we can get you home on a weekly basis. So if you've got any questions on what, what we've got available out of that area for you, same number, 888-668-0698. Um, so basically the northern, the central to northern part of Iowa, or excuse me, Alabama and Georgia, we can get you home on a weekly basis for. Um, for the Midwest, got lots of options for the Midwest. So if you are looking for regional positions, home weekly positions, guaranteed pay positions, I've got refrigerated, I've got flatbed, we've even got van. 
So give us a call at 888-668-0698. We'll give you even more details on what's available um, in and around those areas. Now, flatbed, we've got a lot of options for not only guaranteed pay, but more home time. So we've got the weekly home time with guaranteed pay at $13.50 a week. We've got the multiple times a week with the $1,000 a week guaranteed pay for Fort Dodge flatbed as well. Um, but again, it all depends on where you live. If you live in Fort Dodge, Iowa, if you live in Omaha, Nebraska, Sioux City or Sioux Falls, South Dakota, um, those are all areas that we can work with. I just need to give you a little bit more specific on, on the home time based off of which area you live in. Um, refrigerated, I've got guaranteed pay there. It's $12.50 a week. If you live anywhere from Omaha, Nebraska to Chicago along I-80, if you live in Kansas City, if you live uh, along I-90 from Albert Lee to Chicago, those are all areas that we hire for the $12.50 guaranteed pay for the refrigerated division. That is a great division to get into as well. Um, Zach says he can keep you busy and he'll take good care of you. So if you have questions on that, same number, 888-668-0698. And we'll continue to um, offer those positions. Um, for the most part, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, for, for our van division, it's home weekly if you live along I-80 from Lincoln, Nebraska to Gary, Indiana. And then we've got some, you know, out two to three weeks at a time as well. If you live in Atlanta, Georgia or Hartwell, Georgia or... Um, Anderson, South Carolina, We've got some areas out there too. Uh, lease purchase team, we have those positions also available. Owner operator, we have positions available in owner operator too. Let us know where you live. Um, owner operator and lease purchase positions. Um, some states are not eligible, and um, for company, obviously, it all depends on where you live. All right. Well, I think we've pretty much covered everything for the orientation process. But if you have any questions whatsoever, let me know because I'm assuming that if you have a question, we also will have multiple people with the same question. So we wanna make sure that we get those answered for everybody. Um, also, I do wanna give you an update on our communications, our TCA communications meeting that happens every Thursday. As of right now, we've been making some changes to provide you additional modes of communication. I hope that these YouTube videos and the Facebook videos are helpful for you. But if you have another way that you'd like access, let us know. Um, we are considering doing a podcast. Um, so we're kind of getting that rolling out for you. And we need to know, you know, what are you looking for for a time frame? Are you looking for a short podcast? What kind of information do you want on there? And um, then we're also looking to discuss um, a, an FAQ or a quick, you know, frequently asked questions page for you on our website so that you can just go straight to that and answer some of those questions without having to uh, look anywhere else. You know, it's all in one spot for you. Um, just trying to make sure that all of the information that you are, you're needing, that you're wanting, is gonna be easily accessible to you so you're not having to wait on any of us. But I hope that is all helpful to you guys. Uh, like I said, we're totally open for more, more uh, feedback from you in all aspects, so feel free to get us at facebook.com backslash DTL Inc. You can get us directly or in the chat, or give us a call, 888-668-0698. So I have talked your ear off for an hour. I really appreciate all of your time and all of you guys sticking here with me today. Um, continue to show up on our YouTube Lives and our Facebook Lives, YouTube every Tuesday at noon Central, and Facebook every Monday at 4 p.m. Central. So I'm going to let you guys go, but if you have any questions, I'll give you a minute to just follow up. Um, I don't, oh, look at that. I'm missing some of this information. It just got stuck. So I'm going to go through this chat here, make sure that I didn't have anything. Um, oh my goodness, my chat was stuck. I am so sorry, you guys, for not getting back to you. The last thing I saw was uh, why it excused my tardiness. <laughs> uh, nope, Howard's a sign-on bonus. We got that taken care of. Um, okay, the miles, excellent. Remember, if you have any questions on your miles, what, you, what you've ran, get a hold of your driver manager. We can access all of that. Um, there we go. Anna had posted some information on the smart drive uh, for the event recorders. The 2020 scorecard program, she's given a little bit of information on that as well. Um, the... <laughs> Oh, Anna, go Chiefs. Um, Howard says, I still have Decker meal tickets from Missoula, I guess. Well, the meal tickets are still good. You can still use those. 
Yes, we're not doing orientation in Missoula right now. Um, so, but yes, you can still uh, use those meal tickets, I imagine. They should still be good. There you go. Happy driver's day. And we want you to have, yes, 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 yes. We want to make sure we take good care of you. Make those payable to Anna, she says. Um, Dr. D.L. Johnson, ND. So I was told that you did not take recent grads anymore. Is that true? That is true. So yes, sir. Currently not accepting recent grads unless you have previous experience. You know, say you've, say five years ago, you had driven for a year or two or a couple of years or more, and you just went back in and uh, took a refresher course or just went through and, and got your CDL again. That's going to be an exception. Also, an exception would be if you have driven for, you know, if you've got military experience um, with a, well, obviously it won't be a CDL, but if you've got military experience where you were driving tractor trailer and it's on your DD-214 and then you are now a recent graduate, that's going to be another exception and we can work with that as well. So if you are falling under any of those, let us know, 888-668-0698. And really, if you have any questions on it at all, get a hold of us at that number, we can answer it. Okay, you are welcome, very welcome. Sorry, it took me so long to see that. Um, William, William Wisdom, good morning. Good morning, good morning. I'm a little slow to see in these comments. I'm so sorry, you guys. It got stuck. Well, at least the video didn't at least, right? Not, at least not that time around. All right, I'm caught up. Last one was uh, call 888-668-0698 from Anna. She said for more information, you can get a hold of her. Um, and uh, we've got a couple of recruiters available to you to answer some of those questions. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you next week, next Tuesday on our YouTube Live. And don't forget to subscribe that way you, and click on the bell. And that way you get a notification every time we go live. And then, of course, follow us on our Facebook channel, and you can message us directly for any questions that you have, as well as giving us a call. So, all right, you guys, have a wonderful rest of your week. We will see you later, and enjoy. Be safe.